arrive at the harbor town of Piran in Slovenia. It has a population of about 5,000. Oh, what a beautiful clock tower. And nice red roofs beneath it. Such a cute lighthouse. Hmm. Come to think of it, I'm told that the town's name, Piran, means fire in Greek. It was under the control of Venice during the Middle Ages, and there are still traces of that Italian influence here today. Good morning. Oh, fresh morning sunlight on the boats. And on the town, there beyond the masts. Let's take a walk. Good morning. Uh, let's see, where's my map? Ah, I'm on the south side of town. If I go straight ahead, I'll reach a square. Well, the street's shaded. Sun isn't high enough to shine in yet. Stone walls and red roofs. Maybe that's the Venetian influence. Hmm. Well, there's a group of people. Some of them are dressed kind of strangely. Yeah, it looks like a diver suit. Uh, good morning. <laughs> That's a mannequin. The sign says it's a museum. I guess this town has a lot of divers. I wonder if they dive to catch fish. Or maybe they've got a big dock where they go treasure hunting. That's a funny looking tree. It looks like a jellyfish. Oh, lots of cool boats, too. A morning sail would be perfect on a nice day like this. Just taking it easy out on the water. Mm. fishing boats. There's a fisherman preparing his net. Good morning. Many of the boats seem so small. I suppose that means the water is calm even on the open sea. I wonder what they catch here. Ah, what are those? They look like black flags. Nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah. What are those black things? There are so many of them. Markers, huh? But why are they black? That's interesting. But what about at night? Thanks. Sorry I disturbed you. Huh. Black flags for markers. I guess they must come home before dark. Uh, 
Well, the square is across the street. I wonder how far I've come. Ah, this is Tartini Square, the center of town. There's the clock tower I saw from the boat. What are those kids doing? Teacher? They're learning how to ride a bicycle? In a class? Uh, hello there. Is this a school class? Yeah, yeah. Se učimo. Zdaj jo imamo ocenjevanje. Kolesarjenje. Really? A test in the square? Zato, ker ni prometa, je bolj fan, je tak lep prostor za kolesarit. Je super. Piramo, ja. Tu je edini trg, ki je tako dober za take stvari. Prej je bil promet le, je potekal promet še. In so bile parkirani avtomobili po celem trgu, ne? Bravo! Zdaj pa je. Ale, andiamo. I see. They go around the course there, practicing their technique. Nesi! Nesi, vai mezzo! Adesso! Aspetta che non ti fa pronto. Ma chi si? Piano, piano. Frena, pian piano, frena. Oh, bravissima! She looks relieved. Brava, Nesi! Excuse me. What test are they doing now? To je poligon. In more je opravita določen poligon, ne? Potem dobijo ceno. In... Ne smejo podreti rjave, palce, lahko pa morajo pa podreti zelene. Ne? Prena! Bravo! Ok. A daj se odjamo sul serija, no? Everyone's working very hard, and they can do it because no cars are allowed in the square. Huh, it all makes sense. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Ah, they're grading here, too. Ah, check out this statue. I wonder who he is. Is this his square? Excuse me. Hello. Can you help me? That's a very fine statue. I see. Thank you. A famous violinist, huh? And this square is named after him. I think I'll explore a bit more. Hello, my name's Amanda Vidic. I teach at a music school here in Piran. I'd like to tell you about the violinist Giuseppe Tartini, who was born right here in Piran. Tartini was a superb performer, and he's also known for composing one particular piece. It's his violin sonata in G minor, which is often called the Devil's Trill Sonata. One night, Tartini has a dream.
Tartini is captivated by the originality of the wonderful piece the devil plays. He sells his soul in order to make the piece his own. That's why they call this piece the Devil's Trill Sonata. What? You wonder if the story is true? Well, some people believe that the enterprising Tartini made it all up for the sake of publicity. So, I suppose we can call it a legend. I've found a market. Better check the map. Here I am, behind the square. The town continues all the way down to the tip of the cape. Oh, the fruit sure looks fresh. I wonder if it's all local produce. <laughs> They're having fun. Cabbage. I guess there's more to Piran than just the ocean. Ah, the sky is so blue. And the sun's getting stronger. There's one cute, tired dog. Nice flagstones. They just keep going, too. I wonder when they were laid here. Oh, there's a cool-looking sign. Mosaics, huh? Ah, oh, there's someone inside. May I? Great colors. What are they? Swimmers? Did you make all these? Wow, you've got a lot of trophies. You're a mosaic master. Ne, samo žal je samo jedan za mozaike, to je pa uglavno za športni ribolov, je ti naše društvo radela, je zelo aktivno. No, večina so pa moji od raznih tekmovanj evropskih in svetovnih. Ah, I see. Fishing, not mosaics, huh? Tako je, morje, jaz mislim, da tudi pirana, če ne bi bilo morja, verjetno tudi ne bi obstajal. Tako je bilo, dilema je bilo ali pred trgovino z ribiško opremo ali z mozaiki. In ker imam dosti knjig mozaikov, se imam v eni italijanski knjigi na prvi strani vodni, zaznal, da za mozaike dela, da rabiš potrpežljivost in umirenost ribiča in tako je padla na mozaiko, tako vanj na mozaično strani. Za mene se radi vračamo nazaj. Se je star pregovor pravi, je vse poti vozil Rim, ampak samo je na upiran. In ta je najlepša. You've got a silver tongue. Thanks. Čau, Dio. Sen, čau. Sorry for bothering you. So, I guess this road through Piran is best for me then. Truck? It's as wide as the street.
Let's go, boy. Sorry. Can you get through? Ah, no, 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 no. Gre, gre. Isa, dejte vrši rom tri da gremo mimo. Dej, hitro. Ah, he's looking in his rearview mirror. Pa, dej, Isa, pismo, ti bo šel na kitajsko, boš bil slaven. Ah, so it's a garbage truck. It's made to match the width of the street exactly. I guess everyone's used to it. Hmm, this stone wall looks pretty old. Wonder when it was built. Garbage bags. Wonder what these recesses in the wall are for. I see some flowers peeking out from the second story window. Well, who takes care of them? Is it a dead end? There's light coming in on the left, though. Ah, a small statue of Mother Mary. I thought the wall had ended, but it continues on here. I guess I'll go through here. And glass windows. This part of the town looks newer. The streets are wider, too. That wall must have been a boundary. Huh, is that a family crest? I wonder what it means. Hello. Hello, Dad. Uh, excuse me. May I ask you something? Excuse me. Yeah, look up. Is that a family crest up there? To su Delfinova vrata. To su Delfinova vrata. Tam piše Porta Delfin. Ja, na lisane su Delfinski gor. Dva Delfina, tri. Tri Delfina. To je takratna... Really? Ja, tri Delfina. Dolphin Gate, huh? It's kind of a cute name. Oh, to pa su naredili italijani to deta. To tu su živili samo italijani tako. Ah, Italians, huh? Lep dan, ciao. Thank you. Prego, ciao. Ciao. That's Italian too. My guidebook says that there were salt fields here that made Piran rich from the salt trade. That attracted the Venetians, who ruled over this area for centuries. Hey, this window has dolphins on it too. Italy is not far across the water, after all. More stone walls and flagstone streets. To the right, stairs. Wonder how I get to the Cape. Maybe I'll try this narrow lane here. Time to learn a little bit about Piran's history. Where's that guidebook? Ah, the history of salt in Piran goes back to the 13th century, and Venice controlled it until the 18th century. Then the Austrian Empire took over, followed by Italy after World War I. After World War II, it became part of Yugoslavia. 
Then in 1991, Slovenia gained its independence, and that's how things stand today. Oh, good. Looks like a wider street ahead. Ah, people are walking too. Ah, friendly game of cards. Hello? What game are you playing? Harmonko. Remi. Romi. Rakovo, tedi Harmonko. Tedi, tedi. Ci placo io. Na urstov MR. The streets here are like a maze. I'm afraid of getting lost. Oh, it is. Živa resnica. Don't you get lost? Ne. <laughs> Nothing like being a native, I guess. So, who's winning? Oh, you're playing so seriously. Slovenia, Maybe you've had a few drinks already? I see. Well, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Oh, they said a little. I think it was more like a lot. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pretty good that they can find their way around even when tipsy. Ah, oh, rats, another dead end. It's a tough town to figure out. There's a lot of greenery here. Those red flowers again. The window sure looks pretty. And lots of other plants growing, too. Here are some white flowers. Ah, hello. Dobrodan. Were you looking at the flowers? I'm lost. I'm trying to get to the Cape. How long have you lived here? So I guess you don't get lost then, huh? Are you growing all those red flowers? Sure are a lot. Oh, wait. She's coming out. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. There are so many of them. Did you grow them all yourself? Yeah, yeah, same one. Nice red flowers. These are pelargonia. They're the best of the rest. I don't know if it's lover. It's a little bit of a flower. Better to look at the street, right? So that the car doesn't go by, and the city is enough to have a little bit of a flower. They're happy to see how it looks better. That's it. It's a fine idea. I hope you keep growing lots and lots of flowers. <laughs> She's growing flowers for the pleasure of people walking by. They sure are beautiful. And this garden belongs to the city. Over there I see more red flowers. Seems like everybody likes to grow things. The sun's shining down from straight above. It's one o'clock. Ah, I've reached a square of some kind. Look at all the colorful buildings.
Oh, and there's another stone wall. Maybe on the other side. Yes, the sea. I finally escaped the maze. It's such great weather. I think I'll take a walk along the shore. Ah, oh, a woman's coming up from the water. Ah, oh, hi there. The water's so beautiful. I can see right down to the bottom. Croatia is straight ahead. And over there, I see the harbor where I arrived. Let's see. This must be the tip of the cape, this way. People are sunbathing on the rocks. I bet that feels good. So I've walked all the way through town and come out on the shore somewhere around here. The road keeps curving around. Ah, uh, there's a shore on that side too. I must have reached the end of the cape. And here's a lighthouse. Huh, something's going on over there. Whoa, lots of people are here to swim. That's a perfect day for it. Uh, lots of divers, too. Come to think of it, there were a lot of sailboats. Uh, people must come here for a seaside holiday. Oh, more divers over here. Looks like they're ready to go down. Hi there. Did you swim? <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Zarko Sajik. I'm the director of Piran's Museum of Underwater Activities. Our museum shows the history of all kinds of human efforts going on under the sea. What's that? Do you wonder why Piran has a museum like this? Diving has always been important to us as a port town. It's needed to renovate and maintain the harbor and to repair boats. In fact, divers have been in Piran since ancient times. But that's enough dry history. Let's go diving in Piran's beautiful waters. What? You don't have a diving suit? Hmm, that's a problem. Just kidding. I've got just the thing, an underwater observation boat that leaves from Piran Harbor. This makes it easy to enjoy underwater wonders. Isn't it great? When you come to Piran, be sure to take a look down below. You'll be glad you did. It's four o'clock. Out with the stroll with Mommy. Lucky you. Ah, here are some big glass windows. Is this a department store? This neighborhood seems new. Time to check the map. I went through the square and came out on the other side of town. Well, the streets are a little wider here.
Ah, oh, there's another old stone wall. I think I hear music. It's coming from here. Wow, look at all that stuff. Ah, it's an accordion. Hello there. Oh, he's got a stuffed bear. That's a nice piece. Eno slovensko narodno po narodelo pesmico. Snoč padal je slanca pala. Slanca, slanca, ne? May I take a look around your shop? Jo. Prosim. You have so many different kinds of instruments. No, jaz imam tukaj samo delavnico, ne? Da nastopam kot zbiralec, pa včasih kaj kupim, kaj prodam, tako, ne? To je mandolina iz Prve svetovne vojne, narijela manjša, ker so jo vojaki nosili v nahrpniku, ne? Da? To je mandolina, italijanski model. Malo večja je mandola. In še malo večja je mandolin čelo. Tole se pa igra tako, seveda, če on je na nogicah, potem spodi se da ti je odmevnike, ne? Zdaj se pa igra kar takole. Skoraj sam igra, ne? Veliko mi tukaj pride, da družbo delati moji vnučki. V bistvu tole prostor držim, zato da oni hodijo naprej, da jim nekaj znanja prenesem, da bojo, upam, da bojo potem šli po mojih stopnicah, no. I hope your grandson does carry on after you. Upajmo, da bo vsaj veselje ostalo, ne. Kdo ve, kaj bo v življenju, ampak tako nekaj, nekaj za dušo, no. I'm sure he will. Well, thank you. Prosim, do svidenja. Lepo se imejte še naprej. Thank you. His face really lit up when he talked about his grandson. Ah, the sun will set soon. Laundry hanging out to dry. <laughs> Life is nice and slow here. This looks like a small square. I guess this woman lives here. Hello. Sorry to interrupt. Nice weather, isn't it? You're right. It's, whoa, around 30 degrees. Is it a long way? Oh, so pretty close, huh? The street's so narrow, it must be hard. <laughs> well, I hope you do that someday. Take care. So, she and her grandson will come back this way together. Hi there, I'm Josip Topolovic. I'm a tour guide here. Have you ever heard of karst topography? The word karst comes from the Slovenian word kras, which is the name of a mountain range. Karst topography is a special kind of land formation that occurs when limestone is eroded away by rain and groundwater. I'd love to show you more, so come join me down in Postjena Caves! 
This looks like a slightly dirty curtain, doesn't it? But it's made of limestone. With backlighting, you can see its shape very clearly. This is the spaghetti room. <laughs> but you can't eat it. These are long, thin limestone stalactites hanging from the cave ceiling. There are about 9,000 karst caves like this of various sizes in Slovenia. Some are as long as 20 kilometers. And here's a famous tourist attraction, the Poshchina Cave Train. It lets you see the underground sites in the larger caverns in total comfort. Be sure to check out the caves next time you're in Slovenia. I hear children's voices. Hi there. Oh, they must be in elementary school. I remember that woman saying she was going to pick up her grandson. Oh, these kids look a little older. Maybe middle school? I guess they're discussing what game to play. This path between buildings is so narrow. Ah, oh, here are some steps. I think I'll climb up and take a look. The middle of each step is worn down. It must be really old. More windows and doors. This must be a residential area. I see fallen leaves. I guess not too many people climb up this far. The evening sun is shining on the wall to the left. I bet the wall is really old too. The slope is less steep here. I must be near the top. Ah, the ocean. It's shining. It's hot, isn't it? You must feel even hotter sitting in the sun like that. I bet it's a beautiful view. Super. Tukaj največ kot sedim in gledam, se ko vidim cel piran. A greste pogledat gor? You don't mind? Pa kad izvolite. Thank you. This stone wall is new, I think. Evo nas. Thank you. Izvolite pogledat, ko je lepo. Oh, excuse me. No, thanks. I'm fine. Wow, what a beautiful garden. Oh, hello. Sorry to burst in on you like this. Oh, thanks. 
เล็กกว่านั้นเดี๋ยวเราไปดูกันต่อเลยนะครับ